Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching the videos and also if you want to you can always feel free to send in your own images. If you have an Instagram or a Twitter that you would like me to plug I'd be more than happy to do that. Uh, this particular image is from Renee and I think this is really awesome. I'm really excited to see what we can do with this image. So if you want to send in an image go ahead and send it to the email address that's on the screen right now and without further ado Let's go ahead and get started. First things first, let's get some information. This was taken at 61 millimeters with a Sony, uh, looks like a Sony A7M3. And since the lens is unknown, I can't do an automatic lens correction. So we're just gonna leave this as it is. All right, let's go ahead and pull up the histogram and let's go ahead and change some stuff here. What I wanna be really careful with the exposure compensation because if I go too high, you know, if I take it up kind of like this, we start to lose definition in the dog's fur. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and bring up my tone curve here. And I like to use the flexible curve points. And if you don't know, the tone curve, what you do is you darken your photo right here with the first curve. And then you actually are supposed to bring back in some of the lightness with the second curve. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Take this, what I'm really looking for is I want some really good contrast here around the dog's face. And I also wanna bring out, it looks like there's some nice warm sunlight. Uh, we will adjust some of that later on. So I've gone ahead and I've darkened some of these tones that are here at, at the bottom of the picture and then brought them back to neutral up here at the top. And then we can go ahead and lighten some things up. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use an S curve, something like that. Let's go ahead and increase the saturation a bit. We want to be careful. You can see if I increase the saturation a lot, we end up with quite a bit of blue, but that's okay. We can go ahead and come over here to our color and our white balance. And here where it says temperature, we can use the blue and yellow slider here and go ahead and push that a little bit towards the yellow, something like that. I don't want all the blue to be gone because the reflection from the snow is gonna be blue. Okay, let's go ahead and increase some vibrance, maybe something like that. Now, what I think would be cool is to bring out the eyes here and to bring out and to brighten some of this yellow back here in the house. So let's go ahead and open up the HSV equalizer and I'm gonna pull up the saturation. Let's zoom in on the dog's eyes and grab our color picker and control click. Come over here, control click. All right, so then let's get rid of these points and increase the saturation. Let me come back out here to one to one. Uh, okay, so you can see when I increase this saturation, we have a problem in that all of this blue is also being oversaturated. So I'm going to go ahead and set this back down to zero and then just click the process button. And I'm gonna take this photo as is right here. Actually, no. I'm going to delete that. Let's go ahead and just do a few other adjustments before we do that. I'm going to come here to film uh, to soft light and turn on the soft light and we can just turn on some local contrast and sharpening. And I know that Renee had mentioned haze being an issue in this. So if you want to, you can actually turn on the haze removal and I don't mind what is happening. I would probably pull it back a little bit, something like that. And turn it off, turn it on. I like how it kind of brings out the yellow here in the fur. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put that in the queue. And next, I'm going to go ahead and increase that blue quite a bit, something like that. And we can grab the yellow back here, get rid of that there. All right, so then we'll go ahead. Actually, that's probably too much on the yellow. Okay. So now that we have that, we'll go ahead and put that in the queue as well. And then let's go ahead and render out these two images. I'm gonna go ahead and choose an 8-bit TIFF just so that we don't lose any information and click. Okay, so now here I am in GIMP and you can see that I have the first image and the second image. And the second image is way oversaturated in certain areas. And I kind of like the saturation back here. So let's go ahead and add in a layer mask and choose black, full transparency, click add, and then hit P on our keyboard and go into the tool options and increase the size higher. This is a big image. The force I want at 100, but the hardness I want at zero. And now I can go ahead and paint around the eyes. And you can see if I turn that off and on, off and on. 
So we really get those piercing blue eyes. And actually, I'm going to kind of paint most everything except for the dog's nose and then the snow down here. So in order to do that, let me increase my brush size a lot more. And the reason I'm doing that is you can see we get this really nice yellow hue where the sun is hitting kind of the back of the neck and the fur here. And I, I like that. So now I'm, I'm just all clicking on my layer mask. Once I have an area that's all the way filled in, I can just surround it with the lasso tool and hit Shift B to, in order to get the paint bucket tool and fill that in. Save me some time. And then Alt click and come back. So before, after. Okay, and now actually I'm gonna duplicate my background image, Control Shift D, and I'm going to come here to Colors, Hue and Saturation, and here where it says Saturation, I'm gonna bring that down just um, a little bit. So something about here. Add in another layer mask, and now I'm going to paint around the dog. And the whole point of this is to kind of have the dog be the only point of color in the image and kind of take away the blue hint of that snow. I would I don't want to take it away completely. So let me just do that. And okay. So now you can see the difference. That's off, that's on. And all I have to do is just decrease the opacity if I want to bring a little bit of that blue back into the snow. Okay. And then one other one other thing that I'm going to do is just duplicate my top image one more time. And let's go ahead and come here to Colors, Exposure. And I'm going to increase the exposure, something like that, and click OK. And then hit Shift B and make sure that my color is set to black. And I'm going to get rid, get rid of my layer mask there. Now, if I hit F on my keyboard and zoom in, I can kind of come around the eyes here. I don't have to be too careful. Oops, there we go. So I can go ahead and come around the eyes. I don't have to be too careful because where it's completely 100% black uh, around the eyes won't be affected by the exposure compensation that we just did. Okay, make sure I grab white as my color and shift B and go ahead and change that. Now that might be a little much might be a little too bright. So we can just pull the opacity back and I might actually just brighten this up back here. So all I have to do, same thing, Control Shift D, duplicate and fill that layer mask with black and then um, take my paintbrush, make sure I have white selected. Alrighty, so brighten that up just, just a little bit. Okay, now we can do my favorite process which is Control shift d and i'm going to duplicate all of these and then go ahead and move all of my duplicates up let me see here so this is duplicate one duplicate two give myself anytime where it says this copy there we go so now that we have that i'm just going to right click and say merge down on each of these and now i have a full layer that doesn't have anything on it but i still have kept all of my adjustments and the reason i'm doing this is because i want to grab my clone brush i can just hit c and i want to get rid of these little i don't know what are they hairs or twigs or something like that down here so let me go ahead and make sure that uh, I duplicate Control shift n uh, new layer add and then make sure my brush size is smaller and i'm actually going to go ahead and grab the heel brush just to make sure click sample merged and then i'll control click here and we'll just get rid of these little blemishes just so they don't distract from the eye okay now that that's done we can right click on that new layer and click merge down and then i'm going to duplicate my layer Control shift d and we'll go to filters enhance high pass just to get a little extra sharpening and i think an std a standard de deviation of four is fine and then we'll go to the mode and change that to hard light and add in a layer mask with black as the opacity and then i'll grab my brush with white selected and increase the brush size. What I really just want to capture on this layer mask is the dog's eyes and that fur. Everything that's really in focus. I don't really care about anything that's out of focus, but these ears, these eyes, the nose, the front paw here, uh, the cheeks, you can see the difference in sharpness. And if I feel like it's too sharp, I can always just 
move the opacity back. But I like things a little sharper. Okay, so here we have this final image. Renee, thank you so much for sending this image in. I really, really appreciate it. Again, for anyone else, if you made it this far in the video, if you have an image that you want to see me edit, go ahead and send it in. The email address was there at the beginning of the video. I hope you guys are staying safe out there. Keep editing photos and I will see you next time.